Okay, so this is how you put all of the new songs, like if you're introducing something that's not in PCO or it's a new song, um, this is how you will actually add it to the library. So what we'll start by doing is, is first off, you want to do this part, definitely do this from a computer because you're adding files and you're doing all kinds of stuff like that. So do it from a computer. It just makes a lot more sense. It's a lot less headache. Um, but you'll, you'll see this when you log in. Just come up here to Songs, and it'll pull up the, the, just the entire library. So you can see everything we've ever done here. <coughs> okay, so I'm actually going to add a song in for the sake of doing it. Um, so you'll typically click Add Song. Choose the title. I'm, I'm going to add more and more by Israel. Typically, it'll pop up right here, so you can just see B.J. Putnam, Israel Houghton. That's definitely the one. doesn't really matter, I guess. So, right here, I always put the version of the song that we're doing for the sake of not getting confused if we do another version for something else. So, if we're doing a one, one in youth that's by uh, Jesus Culture or something, it's the same song, we want to specify that. So, here, we'll put... Israel, Houghton, and for the meter, I happen to know that it's in 4-4. The BPM, you don't have to put this, but it would help us out tremendously. So what, we, what I always do is I come over to Firefox or whatever my um, browser is and type in song, BPM, if I can type, dot com. Type the artist, and then the song here. And it says 160, which seems really fast. But if I see that, I know to take that and put that in half. It just it's it's the algorithm is wrong for it. So um, I'll just take 160 divided by two, which I could have probably done in my head would have made more sense. But I'll just put 80 here. And that just helps to make sure that we are the same for the loop as the MP3. Because we don't want to do faster or slower than they do. It's just it makes sure we're all on the same page. Speed, um, pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to put this one as medium because it's not really too slow. Contemporary, starting key. This is the key of the version you're doing. So I'm going to do G. And then accept. So when you get done with that, it'll take you to this screen, which they just recently changed, so I'm kind of learning it too. Um, but basically, well, it, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory, though. You see files are right here, so you'll actually add a file, and then this is where you'll link everything up. So if you did vocal parts or whatever, something that's broke down for you, um, whatever it may be, I have a chord chart right here. Um, so I'm just going to drag that right here and attach to this key. So the key of G, I'm going to attach it to that one because that's the only version I have. But in the event that we added something else, we don't want that to get confused. Um, so you'll also go to, uh, if you have a Praise Charts account, you can actually add the chart from there. Um, I don't personally have one, so I just use the charts I have or I make one. If you put a chart in here, typically I'll go in behind you just to double check everything and make sure it's it's right. Um, but if in the event that it's right, I'll just leave it there. It, but if I have another chart, I'll add that. Uh, I know both of you have uh, a ton of charts on tap, so um, you can always use those. Spotify, if you use Spotify or you know anybody uses Spotify, you can link that up to there. It's not downloadable, but you can link it. Here's the version. I'm just going to click the plus sign. Um, go back to add files. I always do a YouTube just because um, everybody can just pull up YouTube on their phone. It's easier. Okay, and I know that this is the version I want to do. Okay, and then you're done. Um, unless you had vocal parts or... Like, typically, if it's a song that I have a multi-track for, I'll go in behind you and put 
um, if I have a, like a version where it's just guitar in it or just drums or just bass or just vocals, I'll put that in there for the band to reference. But um, And it just kind of builds our library and makes sure we have all the resources that we need on tap. But um, it's just mostly working together, making sure we get everybody kind of contributing to this to make sure that this is as easy week to week as it, as it can possibly be. And that's it.